Hello everybody and welcome to Let's Play The Long Dark. This game came out just under two weeks ago, or just over a week ago, however you prefer to say it, a week and a half ago. Um, I've been fiddling around with this a little bit, just uh, figuring out the controls, so on and so forth, figuring out how to actually play. I did see some videos of this a long time ago now, probably close to six months ago, I think it was the survival mode. And this game came out, as I said, a week and a half ago, and looked at it on Steam and it's got episodes in it and I thought episodes is probably more my style because survival mode just goes on and on and on and on and it will never end now uh, some people will like doing that kind of thing on YouTube but not so much me I like things to come to a conclusion it probably would eventually come to a conclusion within like a couple of episodes I probably end up dying I have very little experience with this game I have died twice already <laughs> Just like through fiddling around. One time I got eaten by a wolf and another time I died on a fire. Which is no good. Well, I burnt myself and I didn't have any medical stuff to treat myself. Um, anyway, we're going to be doing the episodes. I fiddled around with the episodes a little bit. Just trying to figure out the game. i start a new game. And we're doing episode one, Do Not Go Gentle. Let's start, shall we? I've turned on subtitles for your viewing convenience. Our name is Mackenzie. And we can hear our heartbeat. Boom, 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 boom. New world. Uh, when we start, things are very unclear. But we learn a little bit as we go along. Astrid. And we've got this metal shard in our hand. We can interact a bit. And spam the left mouse button to remove the metal. Oh, yank it out. That's going to hurt, isn't it? The long dark. Moose hips. Don't need these yet. To find some shelter from this wind. Yes, we do. Mission update journal. Press J to look at the journal. If you remain exposed, you'll die. Find a cave to shelter from the elements. Start to fire so you don't freeze to death. You have been wound. Find or make a bandage and use it to stop blood loss. Okay, so. We've got a cardboard box here. We'll break this down quickly. Get some bits and bobs from it. Branch. I'm not going to break that down just yet. But we've got some, I'm stuck in some kind of bark, cave. ravine, grab the sticks, cardboard box will break you down as well, <coughs> search this first aid kit, we've got a bandage, antibiotics, take it to stop infection from spreading, first aid, study your treatments and learn triage there are many ways to die in the wilderness medical treatments man-made or harvested from the natural world will save your life use the status screen to check your health apply a treatment using the first aid radio menu you can also use treatments from your pack menu okie dokie controls preparation and self-control are vital to your, to your survival check your controls menu if you're unsure how to do something this could save your life yes like walking on a fire accidentally and burning yourself and not having any medical stuff Let's just grab all this stuff. We'll need it to make a fire. And some more cloth. Firewood. That's burning. Fire! Fire provides heat, water, food and protection. 
Use the campfire option in the radio menu. You need all the fixings, a fire starter, tinder and fuel. Accelerant speeds up the process. Fuel types impact burn time and heat production. An active fire can be used to cook and boil water as well as keeping you from freezing to death. Okay, so hold down the space bar. You can see all our needs and condition down there. Let's go to medical first. And we're going to apply a banish to our left leg. Plane crash injuries. Shouldn't it be the left hand? Healed blood loss. Okay, so we've found some shelter and we've healed the bean leading wound with bandage. Now we just start a fire, so we go to campcraft, start a fire and we'll place it here. We use wood matches, a tinder plug and a stick. Let's wait for the fire to start. Come on. Yes, come on. Come on. Not you, kitty. You silly cat. One of my many cats thought I was calling it. So we're starting a fire. Warm ourselves up. Tiny little fire. And the fire's gone out already. Time acceleration, this is a bit silly, I think, personally. I would like to see maybe a real time mod. Yeah, so there's got to be. Status is your early warning system. When you bring up the quick status or the radi radio menu, I keep calling it radical. You'll get a preview of your current condition as well as information about how cold, tired, hungry and thirsty you are. Any time one of these status indicators is empty and red, that means you're losing condition. Lose all condition and you'll die. Which would be bad. The more of my statuses which are low, or in red, empty and red, the quicker I'll go down. So if I've got two down, instead of like trying to fix both, maybe just concentrate on one for now. Which is what I'll be doing right now, actually. So, very hungry, but thirsty is more of a priority. So, what I want to do is go to the campfire. I'm going to use another tinder plug and another... Let's use a set of firewood. It'll last an hour this time. Start a fire. Now, it's very unique to see a story made out of a survival game, I think. I'd like to see more of it actually like with Stranded Deep and it gives you guidance of what to do as opposed to survive. One of the problems I had with Stranded Deep, you know, it was early access, still is early access for right about that. There's no guidance, it's just sort of like live. Okay, so click on the campfire and go to the water and we're gonna melt some snow. We're gonna melt maybe a litre melt that. I think the more we melt the longer it will take. It looks like a minute passes every five seconds. I can understand for this part when you're actually doing actions and it takes time, the time passing by, but when you're just like walking around I think things like the fire time should happen in normal time. Let's boil this water. Okay, so we've got 25 minutes on this, and we're going to drink the water. See, so it's already down to 23. Journal. Okay, so we've had some water. We need to find some food and keep the strength. Okay. What we're going to do is head out. This is our blood patches. I might be stuck here a while. Better see what I can use. Indeed. Um, let's think. We need some food. Food. Some crates up here. Let's grab the stick. Looks like debris from the crash site above. Break this down. We've run out of calories, so our condition is going down. Water purification tablets. A packet of water purification tablets can help prevent dysentery. One tablet treats one liter, or 0.26 gallons of non-potable water. 
got four tablets in there, so we can treat four litres. We take that, and some more wood matches, always handy. Newsprint, can be used as tinder, cloth, can be used for crafting and repair as well as for craft creating managers. Search this metal container. Multi grade MRE, contemporary MRE, good quality and meets all technical requirements to be considered real food, designed to keep a soldier on their feet. 1,750 calories. And some more matches, which is good. Such as plastic container. Antiseptic. A bottle of hydrogen peroxide, useful for cleaning wounds and for dyeing hair as well. And some more matches. Let's break up this crate. It takes 12 minutes. Probably just stamping on it, I imagine. And we've got some accelerant in there. Low volume fuel source designed to help start fires. Example, like fluid. Starvation. Cloth. I've got a book and newsprint. Let's go to the inventory. Nope, space bar. And we're going to eat MRE. Probably should be doing it in the cave, but oh well. Get. Cut smarts. Infection risk. Treat the risk of infection before it develops into something more serious. Okie dokie. Grab this stick. Let's head up to our cave. And the fire's gone out, unfortunately. See, it's like it's 23 minutes, and it's been like, what, two, three minutes? So we're going to go to the space bar. Going to use this. And antiseptic, because we've got an infection risk, not an actual infection. Antibiotics would stop it spreading and kill it off. This will treat it, stop it getting infected in the first place. Plane crash injuries on the chest, apply antiseptic. Okay, you rest then, mate. Day three. The weather's turning bad. I'm gonna need a good long fire to keep from freezing to death. Press, press the F key and we can see our stats. We've got a wound on our hand. Our uh, temperature is pretty low, so we're gonna need some supplies. Build a fire in the cave that will last the night, nine hours. And it is coming up night time now actually you see the sun setting that one's empty Can't feel my feet grab the sticks we'll break off this break up this branch it'll take 10 minutes and we are freezing now so our condition's going to go down oh another crate's fallen and break this down break this branch Let's see what else we've got. Um, some firewood. Another branch. So cold. Just want to lay down for a bit. Stick. Break up this branch. <coughs> we might have enough now, but I want to gather as much as I can just in case. More firewood. Another branch. When the condition gets down to about here, about 10%, everything gets all blurry, which is never a good. It'll take 12 minutes, get some more reclaimed wood. Break you up. Break you up. And as you see, it's getting darker and darker as our condition is lowering. Nothing else over here. Grab some sticks. Break up this branch. Maybe that box which you saw up there. And then we'll probably think about heading back. Ooh, we've got some books in here. Eventually a source of knowledge for now something to burn when you are freezing. Um, stick. I don't want to break up these branches just here. We've got some more firewood here. That'll be good. I'm hoping we've got enough now. Let's head back to our cave. I'm going to start a fire. We are freezing, so we need some accelerant. We're going to use a book and a tinder plug. 
do it a lot quicker that way. We're going to add some books. All of the set of firewood and some reclaimed wood. Fire looks good. Now to warm up before I freeze to death. And I thought, right, I'll get a bit closer to the fire. Maybe I'll warm up quicker. And I stood on the fire, and it's like, whoops. Let's see. Journal. Keep your body temperature up. Warm yourself up by the fire for a while. 52 degrees centigrade. That's not very hot for a fire, is it? But it's going to last nine hours. So tired. Day four. Thought that storm would never end. And we're hungry, which is not good. We've got an hour and 45 minutes, we've got plenty of condition now, so let's go to inventory. We've got no food, have we? Nope, nothing to eat. Your ears are your best survival tool. Pay attention to your surroundings and you might glean information that's important for your survival. For example, a murder crow circling up ahead might suggest an animal carcass or even a human corpse might be nearby. Okay, so wood isn't a priority at the moment, so we're going to ignore... Where can they find something to eat? Let's see if there's any wood. I don't want to be like breaking stuff up. Anything to pick up could be handy. Don't need these yet. That was a hell of a storm last night. Blew that tree clean over. It did indeed. Okay, so as you can see there, there are some birds circling. And as you can see over there, there's a carcass of a deer. And some stuff over here as well. What I'm going to do is... <coughs> Grab this stick. Astrid's pack. Astrid's hard case. Nine one three. Locked. Wonder what's inside. That's who we are, Will McKenzie. Playing some solitaire. I like the art style. Jackrabbit remote transport. Mackenzie speaking. Jackrabbit. Whoa, whoa, slow down. What are you talking about? It's okay, Morgan. I've got it from here. brings you I mean are you sick <laughs> no no not me but I need to get to someone who is right so you're still a doctor yes I'm still a doctor and I thought that after why are you here I need your help there's an isolated community in the northern part of Great Bear Someone there is very sick. Great and Bear? There's nothing there anymore. Well, not since... I know. But I have to get there. Still trying to save the world, huh? Somebody has to. What's that supposed to mean? Mackenzie... Will... I didn't come here to fight about the past. I need a pilot to take me somewhere remote. Someone who won't ask too many questions. Someone I can trust. Okay. Questions. Astrid, are you in trouble? Are you going to help me or not? What's in the case? See, there's that thing about no questions, remember? What's in the case, Astrid? No questions. Look, the weather out there is bad. Bad. It's pretty worse. bad. You walk in here after years. 
I could have been dead. You could have been. When you show up and you want me to just risk my life flying into the middle of the great northern nowhere to deliver you and some mystery metal case to some remote wilderness outpost, all because you walked in here and asked me to? Yes. Astrid, you can't bring him back. This isn't about that. I know how hard it's been. No. You don't know, Mackenzie. You don't know anything. You don't think I feel it too? Are you going to take me or not? The longer I wait, the worse it'll get. Damn it. I don't have time for this. The worse what will get? Why do I have a feeling you're not talking about the weather? Because I'm not. Throw your bags in the plane. I'll get started on pre flight Better buckle up tight, because it's going to be a rough ride. Sounds like he threw all reasoning out the window. She guilt tripped him. What the? In this case, Astrid was ready to die for it. I hope she hasn't already died for it. Okay, so I'm going to quickly get this branch here. Condition might go down a little bit. That's not too bad. We've got a Will's coat. The coat you were wearing when you crashed in your plane. Clothing is armor against cold. Out in the wilderness, clothing is like armor against the elements. Wear layers to stay warm. Remember, wind is your enemy. Clothing offers different protection from cold and wind chill. Your clothes can get wet from blowing snow or if you fall into water, which makes them ineffective and increases your risk of hypothermia or even frostbite. Keep your clothes as dry as you can. Finally, clothing is, can protect you from physical injuries as falling from... protect you from physical injuries as from falling or tangled with wildlife. Clothing can protect you from physical injuries as from falling or tangling with wildlife. Okay, yeah, does make sense. Balance all these factors against the weight and mobility cost of your combined clothing. Okay. I could probably climb that. And climb this. You can't, but <laughs> look at your hand. Sprained ankle. Okay, go to the journal. Uh, rose hip. Mother nature's painkiller. Sometimes mother nature is. Your pharmacist is crashed rose hips into a preparation that can be boiled in water to produce a tea with pain relieving properties. Keep your eyes open for other natural remedies. Okay, so go to the journal. Um, you need food to survive, scavenge what you can and eat until you're full. Okay. Harvest the rose hips as well. The fruit of a wild bush can be used to make a tea that helps manage pain. And let's get all these rose hips. <coughs> Firewood. Ravaged deer carcass. Let's get all the meat, shall we? I mean, it's going to take an hour and 45 minutes to harvest it, and we are going to get hungry and hungry and probably colder as well. Let's harvest all this. Yeah, we're getting cold now. Conditions dropping rapidly. But we've got all the meat now, 3.5 kilos, which is quite a bit of meat when you think about it. Everything you eat can kill you. Raw meat. When starving, you may feel desperate enough to take your chances, but in general, eating raw meat is a bad idea. Cook it over fire to avoid getting food poisoning or parasites. Cooked meat la also lasts longer and attracts fewer predators. Stop doing that. Uh, like you're being attacked or something. Okay, I think that's all there is on this side. There's nothing... In this. this is a pack, but we can't search it. No, you don't feel so good. And we can't sprint because we're injured. What's my condition at? About 45%. Let's see, there's a stick here. I've felt so cold in my life. Now, if I go to my press the C key and I click on this, this jacket is frozen. Well, we don't want to be wearing a frozen jacket because that'll just make us get colder quicker. 
So I'm just going to gather these rose hips here. And we're probably going to end up repairing these. Um, let's see. Oh, footprints over there. Some more branches about. We'll probably break these up. See what condition goes like. That's yeah, not too bad. Probably got time to break up a few branches. I think that'll probably do for now. First of all, we're going to want to start a fire. Let's just grab this one in the middle of our path, I suppose you'd call it. Go back to our campfire. Burned out. We're not going to use accelerant because we're not desperate. Use a tinder plug and a stick. Start the fire. Yes. Come on, fire. Uh, pretty soon we will get some more information on them. I won't spoil it. When I say them, I mean Will and Astrid. Two minutes. Thank goodness for that. I'm going to add some firewood. It's going to give us two hours. Gimme venison raw. We're going to cook you. Takes time to cook, obviously. And time accelerates by. And before I cook any more, I'm going to go to this menu. We've got some heat as well. So we're going to eat the cooked one. It's going to give us 880 calories. And we're going to also drink some more water. <clears throat> so our condition doesn't go down. If anything, it should go up, actually. And then we're going to go to the F. We've got sprained ankle and injuries. So we want some rose hip or two bottles of painkillers. So if I go to crafting prepared rose hips, it takes 15 minutes and 48 of 24 rose hips. Begin crafting. And then if I go back, click on the campfire, melt snow, we're going to melt another litre. <coughs> Temperature is definitely dropping, so probably want to add some more um, wood. Let's add some fuel. We're going to boil a litre of water. And then... This is a crafting. I could be getting crafting some. How do I make the tea? I'll cover time four hours. Ah, prepared rose hips. There we go. Let's cook this. And then we're going to drink a rose hip tea. It's going to give us some calories as well, which is good. Healed ankle and warming up as well, which is nice. Getting a boost to heat. Um, you need food to survive. Scavenge what you can. Eat until you're full. Okay, so campfire. Now we're just eating. We've got an hour and a half left. So let's cook some more meat. Let's cook all the meat, actually, because it will last longer, like it said, and less likely to attract the predators.
And we've still got 38 minutes, so I'm going to boil or smelt two and a half litres. Yeah, it definitely takes longer the more we melt. Embers. Okay. Melted 2.29. We're going to use some birch bark. Reclaimed firewood. We can add a few of sticks. 22 matches left. Want to get the water. Oh, it didn't work. No, that didn't work. <laughs> That's what I said. Um, Should we No. Save it for emergencies. Okay, so I was wrong about fires working all the time in the tutorial area. I suppose technically the episodes could be considered a tutorial for the survival mode. There we go. This is definitely working this time. That did it. We're gonna add that oil water. Takes a lot less time to boil, that's for sure. How can you boil something at seven degrees centigrade? Okay, so we're gonna eat that one. And then we're going to eat that one. <clears throat> May as well rest up. No telling what tomorrow will bring. Day five. I feel stronger today. Good, good. Knowledge. What you know can save you. As you learn things about the world, either through your own actions or through interacting with people, you unlock knowledge about people, places, things and actions. Deeper knowledge can be revealed when you gain the trust of other survivors you meet. This knowledge is tracked in your journal for future reference. Okay, let's go to the journal, shall we? Your hand feels stronger now. It's time to climb out the ravines. So this is missions. This is NPCs. We have no people... Places, things, actions. Select. Uh, first aid, raw meat, knowledge. Okay. NPCs, people, places, things, just actions. I know. Okay. Collectibles, mission related stuff, I suppose. And general notes, where we can write our own notes. Crafting, we can make a bandage if we wanted. Want some newsprint tinder plugs small plug or bundle of flammable material paper will require to start a fire okay so we're going to climb out today what's our stats at not too bad we're going to gather the rest of the stuff in this area quickly like all the branches turn them into sticks conditions are very nice Break you down. <coughs> oh, and now this has been warmed up. This is going to give us one degree temp protection, one degree wind chill protection, thirty percent chance. I'm not sure what this is. This is armor damage, movement speed, condition weight. This is maybe water protection. So this is ten percent. This is twenty percent. This is thirty percent. Zero percent. Okay, so, it does add all sorts of protection. Did I see another stick or something around here? Maybe, but I can't be bothered spending too much time looking for it. Okay, so, any like rose hips or anything around here which I can gather? I don't think so. What's some over here? So we need to gather three plants to prepare the petals and then turn to tea 
which provides a warm-up bonus, pain relief, and some calories and thirst relief as well. Oh, there's another stick here. And a branch. Temperature is dropping quick. Okay, so we should be able to climb out today. Only one way to go. Oh. Indeed. Okay, let's gather these rose hips quickly. Never know when we'll need them. Also keep an eye out for wood and branches and sticks and stuff like that. Ooh, three rose things here. So we gathered enough to harvest some more petals, that's for sure. Ooh, four actually. That was sort of like stuck in the rock. Who breathes like that? You think you're going to make it, do you? Well, I could just, like, run off and make you fall to your doom. Oh, so, here, thunder. Nearly at the top. Two more things up here to harvest. We have loads of petals, aren't we? Finally. Made it. Well, the fruits to turn into petals. And we're at the top. More bits from the plane.